you know, the, the people that are doing this work. And this is, this is, this is why we all work so hard at ASA, is that we, we get to meet all of you and get to hear these stories. Carrie, you're just, you're absolutely amazing. Thank you. So the next award I'm actually giving uh, is for a patient advocate that I have to say <laughs> is not only one of the most inspiring people I've ever met, but he's really freaking hilarious. Um, but he also, I don't think I've, I've ever met someone who is so willing to say, let's try to do that. And last year in front of this activist life, Jim Gray, sorry coming up here, hon. Um, Jim knew that, that the Attorney General of Oregon was going to be the most significant elected official that medical cannabis patients were going to have to deal with. And Jim called up Americans for Safe Access as one of like 3,000 people he called and said, let's, come on up, sweetie, come on. Uh, let's, said, said, let's build, um, let's build a campaign to bring an attorney general to the state of Oregon that respects patients' rights. And this man called a lot of people in this room and said, we don't have time for polling, damn it, but I think we can do this. Yeah. And said, Steph, we don't, we don't need a million dollars. We don't need a million dollars, but you know what? Let's talk to UFCW. Let's talk to all of your members. Let's talk to all of the patients. And let's give this woman who's willing to fight for medical cannabis patients rights some airtime as our vote. And I was pretty I was pretty excited by this idea, but you know, there's 50 states, there's a lot that we have to do. And so Jim, of course, called me 19 times in two days. <laughs> right? Which like sometimes you have to do. And said, Steph, I know we can do this. And now, in the state of Oregon, there is a medical cannabis patient advocate that is the Attorney General. Yeah. And I'm like the coolest guy I ever knew is working his ass off. And something that Jim and I always joke about that, that isn't a joke is that when I am totally exhausted, out of it, my hair is wired, like I really want to sleep, but something has to get done. I remember your last visit out to DC, and I think about the work that you do, and you've just taught me so much about being a patient advocate, and you make you make our staff better advocates, and we're just so honored to work with you, Jim. Well, uh, 
What the frat help my friend Sam Chapman there. Yeah, it's too hard. 
Um, no, but I, I mean, I, I think that you can see why the speakers here tonight. Like the, this is a, this is such hard work. But as executive director of ASA, the work that I need to do is hear these stories and see these see these victories that may seem, you know, yes, we haven't changed federal law yet, but we have taken down two attorney generals. Yeah. But like, we, right? So we're taking it. So, but what that means, what that means here in Washington is, of course, politics, there's all of these different pieces. And not only are you going to go share your stories on Monday with your elected officials, so that when they hear about medical cannabis, instead of thinking about this political thing, right, a headline, instead, they are going to think about you. They're going to see their, your face. They're going to know that they're going to be disappointing you. And that is really the key pieces of advocacy. And that here, here we are getting to honor people that we're the only ones that are going to honor them. Right? Like, the truth is there are so many unspoken heroes that you know, most of the quotes, like if I get quoted in the press, they're seriously like taken from a press release or something. I didn't even talk to the press about that. So the, when I look at advocates that I know that they've been doing these amazing interviews, that they're spending all of that time, that's really who this